Hi everyone and welcome to this little short tutorial about how to use Megalites, how to enable them and what kind of impact do they have on your project. So let's go take a look at a new feature in Unreal 5.5 Megalites. So Megalites is a new lighting tool used in Unreal Engine, or introduced sorry, in Unreal Engine 5.5 and its purpose is to basically give us much more performance in lighting. Now, lighting has always been a bugbear uh, for making real-time graphics in games. Uh, so something like this, a very simple scene where I've just literally just chucked in a few point lights uh, with some fogging, and we've got a few issues such as like the stationary lights. So this one is not being going to be baked in, and you've got uh, like basically bad performance as well. So if we go to lit here, take a light complexity, you can just see the the hard work the renderer is going through just to make it work with this and we've got ray tracing turned on so uh it's we're going for that maximum look there now obviously very simple scene so i'm not going to really notice any performance issues but one thing i want to show you is how to enable mega lights and how to actually use them so mega lights are actually very very simple to turn on and all you've got to do is go into your project settings and just search for mega lights it's in the rendering section it's just search for mega lights just turn it on and you're done so just turn that on and the other thing you want to turn on as well is ray trace shadows so turn on ray trace shadows make sure that's turned on and uh hardware ray tracing if you can as well okay and you're good to go so those three things uh are going to be really helpful for you another thing that's going to be useful and in general actually not just for mega lights but in general is uh the use of the shadow maps so currently the shadow map method i think by default is virtual shadow maps which are uh high quality but very high cost so you may find meg mega lights and generally speaking all the lighting may work better with shadow maps uh like typical ones but uh up to you which one you would experiment with as like this is all experimental so things may change but all you got to do is turn on mega lights ray tray shadows and change the shadow map to uh normal shadow maps once that's done nothing you'll notice that lighting is great yeah no, no, nothing bad happened here but if i go to the optimization view modes notice how different it looks yeah and this is because it is far more performant the way they've just handled the magic behind the scenes of the lighting engine it makes this a whole lot nicer for performance so i can put more of these lights in and have generally no issue in fact, let me just change them all to be movable lights and see the nuttiness that is that. Movable. Okay, and normally this thing would be really uh, lighting up white and red because we've got so many of these lights in the scene here. Let's keep, keep going nuts. Yeah. And I've got a bit of volumetrics on it as well, so I'm trying to push it with that too. Uh, mega lights can also be turned on dynamically per light as well. So on a light, you can just search for mega light, allow mega lights. And you can also do it in the post process volume as well. So if you go and put a post process volume in, and there you go, mega lights is turned on because it's on by default in the section, but you can turn that on in the settings there too. The mega lights are really cool. Okay, they've got really lots of uh, benefits to them and really are great little tools to introduce in 5.5. The downside is that you can't do this on uh, mobile, for example. Uh, it's, it's designed for uh, current and top end PCs and uh, current consoles. So uh, those who are doing hardware ray tracing type of things, they're the ones that are gonna be important. And it's because it is using a, like a ray trace sort of method to work out what, what should be lit by any pixel in any one time. So basically that's what it's doing. If I go to the uh, debug for this, so I go R mega lights debug one. And if I move my cursor around, it'll highlight any pixel on the screen and it will show you what lights are affecting that pixel. And so it's just, you can see that basically the ray casts that are going on, work out the important lights for it. So this pixel over here is not right about the other lights obviously it's only right about this one really and that's about it really it's that simple to use and that simple to turn on um as i said they are experimental so you may find some quirkiness in some projects where you might see particular instances of it slowing down or um things like that 
Let me just put it back off. Mega Alliance. Uh, dot debug zero. Oh, I put a space in by mistake. Mega lights. There we go. So, really, really cool tool to use. There are a few other limitations it has too. Um, so, for example, um, they're not compatible with forward, re forward rendering. And uh, then currently you have trouble a bit with some strand based hair. Uh, stuff but that's hopefully in the pipeline uh to be fixed in future versions uh, but i'm really impressed with it i think it's like it's going to be really cool um i'm looking forward to trying it out in my projects so there are more features of the engine that are going to be struggling with mega lights um things to check out but they are going to be improved over time so it may not be the case by the time you watch this video uh, things like water, for example, uh, will struggle a little bit with water. It will not work exactly as you want them to in Mega Lights. Um, but as I say, pretty simple to put in. I mean, turn it on. And that's all you've got to do. Very simple. Plug and play. Uh, it does also mean you can do a lot more expensive types of lighting too. So if you want to do like video-based lighting like they showed in their demo, if you ever watched their demo, uh, you can make emissive lighting from a video texture. And that can be really uh, cost-effective as well. Uh, which would normally be quite expensive. Uh, but yeah, definitely experiment and try it out. And if you like this video and want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily. Find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all the Patreon members who are already supporting the channel. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.